experience free agency. So try to have fun with it, I guess, um, and hope you know it all works out the way that I uh, I, I want it to. And um, you know, I got to talk to come up with a plan of how of what I want, what I'm looking for. Um, you know, if something doesn't work out here, um, so we'll see. There's a lot of things in play, and um, I don't know what any of them are yet. And you just gotta kind of roll with the punches on this one, it seems. So kind of initial feel, though, is uh, uh, given everything being equal, you'd you like to be here. Is that fair to say? Uh, I think so. I, I think, yeah, I, I, if, if everything works out the right way, obviously you can't, you know, be an idiot about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I love being here. I, you know, I've, I've, uh, the Bay has become my home. Um, my future wife's from here. Uh, I love playing for this team, this coaching staff. Uh, this ownership group, everybody. It's a great spot, and um, some of my best friends are here as players, both on the, as the players and teammates, but also as support staff. And um, the relationships I have here, um, it's hard to want. It's hard to ever want to leave this place. And um, I've seen people do it and um, be kind of heartbroken about it later on. And uh, so, got to you got to do a lot of a lot of a lot of thinking, and you got to see how the chips uh, chips uh, fall. You know, so it's. Um, it's something that I want to do for, for sure, but it's uh, again, it's not always up to me. Are you Mike? suggesting that it won't be a purely uh, monetary decision, a, a number? Well, it certainly, we'll have a lot to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I, 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 yeah, I am, uh, I'm not. I'm not an idiot. That was what he meant by the idiot thing, right? Yeah, <laughs> that I am not an idiot and understand what my value is, and um, I think they do too. Um, and I hope you know the rest of the league will when the when the time comes. Um, it's uh, it's an interesting process. It's something that you you know you dream about as a kid, and I mean not really that part of it, but to be able to have a pick of you know where you play, the, that kind of freedom is what our union has fought for, and it's a pretty cool deal. But um, yeah, just to see how it goes. But yeah, the uh, the opportunity to have life changing money for my family and. Uh, that is definitely a factor that is to be weighed in <laughs> to this decision. I realize it was a Yeah, factor. no, but it's, it is not the only decision. Uh, only, oh, it is not the only factor, but uh, yeah. Mike, do you have a can you get the actual locker more this time than you have in past years? Like, are you getting? Well, the uh, the the joke in the equipment room. I'm because I I'm one of the few guys that you know even train here in the off season. Yeah. So. On this day, for the last four years, I've never touched anything in my locker, and I just found out what the hell was in there. <laughs> um, and so uh, to do the equipment guys a favor, no matter what, I took this opportunity to stop the ridicule of being a pack rat. So I, uh, I took a lot of this stuff out of there that I've had there, there for years. there stuff from your rookie year? Without a doubt. Yeah, there's Did stuff. You, there's stuff that, you moved lockers. Yeah, yeah so, but uh, when, it, when it was moved, the equipment guys just kind of put everything back as it was. And I, so I just kind of blanketed, let it, let it go, and... Um, yeah, the, the, I still had pictures from Grace Staley in that in my locker, <laughs> in my first injury and stuff like that. So it was a uh, it was a fun little trip down memory lane. <laughs> Mike, when are you getting married? Uh, July seventh. Yeah. So this summer we're getting married uh, out here. Exciting times. I guess I can finally shift focus towards that. Um, How many groomsmen did you need? Uh, I, had, I actually have seventeen of them. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So I uh, I come from a enormous Irish Catholic family and uh, 12 of the guys are uh, guys that I consider literally my brothers. There's five of them that are my brothers and then there's six uh, other guys that are my cousins that I grew up on the same street with and in the same house down the in the summer. And then uh, Brooke was cool with it, so I, uh, she she said you can't get married without your best friends up there too. So she was like, I was like, all right, well it's gonna be like seventeen. She's like, all right, whatever. Will she have seventeen on her no, side of the No, 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 no. She's yeah. We're not gonna try and match numbers. No, no. no. <laughs> does does that provide a, a little bit of ease? You know, knowing that you've got a huge decision ahead, but you can sort of look forward to that. Yeah, I mean it's fun. I, 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 the the wedding stuff is it's certainly fun. I. I that ring wasn't my first priority um, <laughs> this year. <laughs> um, I already made the decision to get Brooke her ring, and my ring was uh, was was going to be. Uh, hopefully, I was going to get a. I was hoping to get a set this year, but uh, didn't work out that way. Um, but no, it'll, yeah, it'll be a fun project, and when. Brooke, I'm sure, will be excited to not have to have me snap back at her like I'm not interested in talking about this at this current moment. So um, I'll be flush with a lot of logistics of life here in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> Mike, do you have any sense of like uh, an extension pre-free agency is a possibility or has that ever been broached? Uh, I don't know. I think anything can be a possibility. Um, 
I think that they value me here. I think that they enjoy having me around, and I think I can play football at a very high level. So I'm sure everything, not every, I, everything's on, on the table, I think. Um, you got to keep a very open mind with this stuff. Um, but you also, have to, you also have to be real about it, too, because there's a lot of damn good football players in our locker room and a lot of them that need to be paid. And uh, we certainly got one that's going to break the entire bank. So um, you got to see how, how the chips fall and, um, you know, be, like I said, be real with it. But, yeah, everything's on the table, I'm sure. I mean, I, I, that's obviously something that I would not enjoy. Um, I would like some security. Um, but that's also that's not my decision whatsoever. Yeah. How do you think right. this year compared with your, your previous four? Do you feel like this was the best season that you've had? I think yeah, I think so. Um, I think I played really complete football from from majority of this year. I mean, obviously mistakes were made here and there, but um, I played great football. And I'm confident in that. I know what my eyes. I know how to. I know what I see with my eyes and try to you know block out what everybody else says and I know that when you watch the film there's that I'm a great player and I, I can continue to play this at a high level and I can still get a lot better um, that's what I'm most looking forward to in this next year I, th I feel like I'm just getting started I you know got healthy um, and after missing training camp and um, started playing as good a football as I've ever played and um, to be able to build on that for next season um, is exciting to me and um, it's something that I've, I'm very excited to uh, to have that mindset and with, with going into off-season training and be able to actually train instead of rehab for 10 months. And um, it's a, it's an exciting time, for sure. Martin, the, the uh, Kyle has gotten criticism because uh, Charlie Croft's blocking Hassan Reddick when Brock Purdy got hurt. I'm going to assume it's not the first time a tight end bought the uh, edge rusher this year for, for you guys. Mm -hmm. So you just like, for people that look at that and say, why would you, you know, ever do that? You know, that's such a mismatch. It just kind of explains the, the thought process behind that. Um, well, there's just a lot of different thought processes behind it. Um, I think it was a, it was a play action game, and that's we, we make a lot of uh, we make a good living in, in, in play action as our, on our team because of how we can run the football. It was a base situation, and uh, the guy took a chance and he, and he rushed the passer instead of playing the base run. And um, you know, that's that's, a, that's the way. It happens sometimes. We, our tight ends are extremely capable of doing these things, and um, I don't even. It wasn't even that he got beat all that clean, and it's just a, a, a you know a longer developing play that takes some time, and it, it's the way it happened. But to say that it's a stupid decision is insane to me, and it's just something somebody that doesn't really understand how to build a game plan throughout football um, because it's the first or second quarter. It's the first quarter, first second drive maybe, and all your base stuff is still up and on a first and second down to call a play pass it's not anything out of the ordinary and we do it a lot and it's something that um, obviously you know there's always the great criticisms when the clicker's in somebody's hand and and, and those things can happen um, but yeah that was that, there was no second thought about that that was just a freak thing that happened you know, Mike, early in your career, the, the criticism had been great run blocker, struggled a bit with pass protection. But over the past two years, uh, I think you've definitely morphed into a very above average pass protector. What's been the, 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 the key, you think, in that development of your game? Um, I think one is a mentality. I think it's something that you, 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 um, you got to train your technique over and over and over again and identify things that you don't do as well as you thought you did or, or that you needed to improve um, and that obviously was an area that you know I needed to improve on and I think I did that the last you know two years um, I've had a lot of success both with, as a complete football player um, you know it's just a mentality and it's a, it's a work to fix it it's a work to techni technically get it right and then um, you know once you feel as though you have it right it's just tr trusting your trusting your swing you know I'm a, I'm a huge golfer Nick and I bond over that very much and um, but it's it's a it's a mentality of just swinging your swing, and um, I work harder than anybody to get that stuff right. And why would I not trust it on game day? You know, I, I do a lot of work to get things right and to, to play as good as I can and to play as technically sound as I can. And why wouldn't I just let it rip on Sunday? And t you know, you just got to tee it high and let it fly. And then um, and that's what I tried to do for the last two years. Feeling incompleteness for you guys, where the game the game went on Sunday, we really didn't have an opportunity. 
the ball at all, where I think he didn't get a chance to really compete in that game. Yeah, I'm, but at the same time, you can't take any kind of credit away from the Philadelphia Eagles and the team that they are. Um, they were a great group, and we knew we were going to have a tough challenge, you know, the whole day anyway, um, because of how talented and, 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 and hard they play. Um, but yeah, it definitely doesn't feel great to know that you, you essentially just have to run your head through a brick wall for two and a half, two, for two quarters, um, just trying to figure out what to do. Um, I've never been a part of a situation like that. I've never seen that before. I, I, I you know. You come from college where you have 120 guys up on game day, and then all of a sudden there's only 46 in the NFL, and it, I, emergencies happen. And I was a, my first start in the NFL was that way. Uh, we almost had to have Garrett Selleck play t tackle um, because we went through that many O linemen that were active that day. I've never seen it at the quarterback position. I think it's a little easier to rotate guys in and out, but when you have Kyle Juszczyk getting ready to um, take over command and playing quarterback, we're in a little bit different of a spot. Did you, did you almost want to see, see that for a second? <laughs> no, <laughs> I did not. Um, I love Juice to death, and I think he's one of the smartest and best football players I've ever been around. Um, but, yeah, when you don't practice playing quarterback, um, it's going to be really hard to do it well. <laughs>